For the first time in program history, Evangel Volleyball will be playing in December. We're joined by head coach Mary Whitehead. His team got an opening round win at Wayland Baptist last Saturday to advance to the NAIA National Championship final site in Sioux City, Iowa. Coach, we'll talk about the match on Saturday and that opening round win. First of all, really rare for a road team uh, to win in an NAI national tournament opening round. Y your team got it done. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, at least how you started the match. At least give yourselves a, a chance at winning up there on Saturday. It's pretty amazing. And, and, and the stats on that are, I, I believe it's over 80% of home teams win. So we definitely uh, beat the odds there. But, you know, we were prepared for this team. We'd gotten enough film to, to see their strengths. They have arguably one of the best hitters in the nation. And we knew that, you know, she averages five and a half a game. And our goal was to hold her to three and a half. We thought we'll have a shot if we can hold her to three and a half, which is, which is a huge number anyway. But, I, but that was kind of our goal. And, and honestly, we set the precedence right from the start that we're going, we're going to, to go after your best player. We're going to do our best to stop her or slow her down, and your other players are going to have to beat us. And, and I feel like that's what it came to. And, and, and our players, defensively, we were just too strong for those other players to, to beat us. One of winning 3-0, and actually this year you were the only road team of the 12 matches in the NAI opening round to get a, a win on the road now to advance to the final site. We talked uh, last week about how you felt like your schedule prepared you for an opening round game like a Wayland Baptist. Uh, the schedule really now kind of shows that uh, it's prepared you for the NAA final site. In your pool, you've already played two of the three teams that you'll face uh, there. But you know, obviously, everybody's great now that this time of year when you, uh, when you, when you head up to Sioux City in the final 24. Um, but uh, you've already seen Park and you've already seen Grandview, oddly enough, on the same day. Uh, but you have to feel like that your team now is, is really well prepared for the next step. Oh, we, yeah, and we know what we're going to get here. Now, when we played Grandview, I believe they were a player down, but we played them really well. And, and you know, you, you kind of go back and forth. I'd kind of like to see teams we haven't seen yet. But, you right. know, the draw is the draw. And, and I know there was a little push to, to mix it up a little bit to try to get teams that hadn't played each other. But when it comes down to it, you got one through 24, and, and you make the brackets. So, um I'm trying more to decide what the other teams think about having us in there. We're the fourth seed of four in our in our bracket, and and I think we're better than that. So, um, and Grandview, who we beat early in the season, is maybe not thrilled to see see Evangel pulled with their name. But Park is Park. I mean, they're a very good team. Um, there's there's a lot of argument that they probably should have been the number one. But you know what? You just go in and we'll play our game. We've played so hot, and if we keep playing the way we've been the last two weeks, um, we could be a surprise team and come out of the bracket. Any coach wants their team playing their best at this time of year, heading into postseason or in postseason, you have to feel like that's the way your team is playing now. Uh, what are some of the characteristics that have been that you've seen with your team uh, in this hot run now in the playoffs? You know, honestly, we just will not let a ball hit the floor. I mean, we defensively we were just lights out against Wayland Baptist and and their coach after the game when we talked just said it over and over and over again how that we were hands down the best defensive team he's played but you know we knew we could block and we knew we could play defense but honestly our offense has taken off we we averaged around 11 kills a game this season and and I believe we're above that in the postseason we I would if I had to guess I'd say closer to 13 or 14 a game we're really swinging well and and um Part of it sometimes I think is when you play teams that don't know you as well, you have a couple of days to prepare and, and it, uh, it makes it a little bit tougher to, to catch kids' tendencies. But the girls have just decided, you know, they don't want this run to be over. They know we stumbled a little bit at the end of the season and that we're better than what we played. And I mean, they're just going to prove that we are a legitimate team in the NAI and, and one that needs to be respected. Talking with Evangel head coach Mary Whitehead. This is Ed Beach for evangelathletics.com.